everybody, and welcome to Adults Only Minecraft, the Lonely Edition. Actually, it's beyond Uranus, but I am right now, as you can see, all by myself. I don't want to be. Then we have Arcade Mining over here who looks forlorn and sad. Wait, he's waking up. He's coming around. He's coming around. Oh, oh, is, hey, oh, hey, is he here? I am here. Oh, am here. just in the nick of time. Yep. How you doing, sir? Good. Well, I remoted down to my computer to tick it off so I could do the uh, uh, update for the data pack. And then yeah. I ran down from the back porch here to sit in front of the computer here in the dungeon See, and play. I am, I, am, I am just a bad example, folks. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm just a bad example. And, you know, now it's wearing off. But we have, we have several people out of commission tonight. Uh, we have got uh, no... Uh, uh, no Screaming Eagle. Uh, Screaming Eagle uh, blew his back out a couple of weeks ago and has been struggling with that ever since. Uh, so he won't be joining us tonight, which means uh, you folks that head on over to twitch.tv to watch uh, the stream. Unfortunately, it won't be there tonight. So you're going to have to watch it here. Uh, also missing tonight is, uh, let's see, Abby the Queen, whose computer just does not like Minecraft right now, if you were watching uh, last week, you know that she was crashing on a pretty regular basis. And, of course, not behind her uh, or next to her, as always he is, uh, is Meh, 19... What is that? 19... 61, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mike, who... Uh, is Mike 2.0. Mike 2.0, who is also missing uh, due to uh, vehicle problems. Just heard from him at the last minute. Uh, he's not even home right now. And Mike 1.0, our favorite Canadian, uh, has been in the midst of a move and job change and everything else. So we haven't seen him in a couple of weeks. And uh, I have no idea where Red Rider is. It's summer, you know, and, and this stuff... Uh, uh, this stuff happens, but of course, Arcane Mining is here to help in his fine, his fine pecker head. There, it's a nice, it's a nice purple head. I like it. <laughs> so for now, it's just the two of us, man. All right. But uh, uh, tonight is a special episode. Uh, we are basically going to be saying goodbye to the Latrinarium tonight. Uh, as many of you are aware. We are transitioning to a brand new stream, uh, and we did come up with a working title, uh, and I think this one's going to stick this time. It's called Space Nuts, and uh, Space Nuts will be the next uh, section of the journey for the crew of the Latrinarium. However, we do have to give up our fine ship, and uh, uh, there are technical reasons, but within the storyline, uh, the, uh, the Latrinarium is much too big for what we're going to be doing. We are setting off to the Scrote M system and uh, heading to build a brand new space station called Cajone Station, uh, which is orbiting the, the planet of Bullocks. Uh, the ship we're going to be boarding is much smaller than the one we're in and is called the Perineum. If you look up Perineum, you will find that it is the transition between <laughs> beyond Uranus and Bullocks, which I thought was an appropriate name for this ship. So, uh, with with all of that in mind, uh, why don't we why don't we get this party started? Minecraft: The Final Frontier. These are the voyages of the starship. Latrinarium. It's year-long mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new mobs and new adventure maps, to boldly go where no Minecrafters have gone before. Welcome back, first. everybody. Uh, what was that? Um, no, I just say we should probably take a tour of the, the new ship first. Yep, yep, we will. Figure out where we're going to go 
move. Yeah. The, By the uh, way, if we're moving and I'm helping you, you're buying the pizza and beer. All right, you're on. But you got to <laughs> lift the heavy craft because, I, you know, my back is shot too. Uh, so you can kind of see the ship out there parked next to us. Uh, but it's available to the airlock. And uh, there was a small crew that came over with the ship. And uh, a captain, a navigator, and a co-pilot. Uh, oops, sorry, man. Oh, speaking of which, who have we got here? This is Lieutenant Otto, the co-pilot. Hello, Lieutenant. Uh, then also Captain Jack. He'll get you high tonight. He'll take you to your special island. Uh, the, uh, the millennials are, or the, uh, I'm sorry, the um, uh, boomers are going, oh, I get that one, I get that one. And somewhere <laughs> around here is, uh, is our other crew member. Uh, oh, there he is standing on the railing. Don't jump, Ensign Row. Star Trek fans will appreciate that one. So, jump, uh, jump, jump. yep, yeah, there, uh, there are the crew members. So they will be taking over the electronarium beyond our, our uh, after our departure. And we will be taking this ship to our new destination on the other side of the galaxy. Uh, so next week, hopefully, we will be there and you'll, uh, you'll get to see the other side of the galaxy. Uh, but for now, uh, they basically towed this ship into position. Uh, engines are already installed. However, we do have to finish putting in the cockpit uh, and, and uh, rest of the, the seats and things here. And then cool. in addition to that, uh, we have to get the cargo uh, bay, get our stuff into the cargo bay, because uh, we are going to be able to transport some things over to the the new uh, the new server and the new stream, but not a lot. So we're just mm -hmm. gonna we're just gonna get there. Uh, it, yes, Mike, we have started. Yeah, yeah, Mike, <laughs> Mike Johnson, have we started yet? Um, but anyhow, uh, joining us in chat is Dr. Dredd, man of mystery. Yeah, it is, it is kind of sad to say goodbye to the Lechinarium, but, uh, you know, time for something bigger and better. And what's going to be really cool about this new stream is that it is integrated with the server. Uh, so it will be part of the Block Party server, which means that people from Block Party will kind of be part of the stream. Uh, it's going to be our responsibility to maintain the space station as well as travel to the 50 worlds that are encircling, oh, actually more than 50 worlds, that are orbiting around this sun, uh, the sun of Scrot M. And uh, we have to explore them, get them set up for teleportation, and make them safe for the server members. Once we explore them, get them set up, folks will be able to then, uh, from the server, go to the station and teleport to those other planets. So it makes the server a, a lot cooler uh, and gives us a lot of opportunities that we might not have had otherwise. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be very cool. So uh, Eternity Mine is here. Speaking of the new server, Nitty has been helping me. Thank you very much, Nitty, for helping all that you have. As a matter of fact, the uh, perineum that we will be going into is her design. Well, actually, we're in it right now. This is her design. Uh, a couple substitutions on my part for blocks to make things match a little bit better. But overall, this is this is Nitty's design. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and uh, Nitty, you uh, you are also modding tonight, and that's greatly appreciated. Franny Farmer is here. Hello, Franny. Starzik is here. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see, Mike Johnston is modding for us as always. Thank you always as always for that, Mike. Uh, Zathras is here. Hello, Zath Zathrus. That's easier said than said, said, said. Uh, and Dr. Dread Man of Mystery is definitely appreciating our uh, our title of uh, the new solar system, Scrot M. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you will find you will find a a, a theme uh, in this new uh, series. We are typically very very. Um, oh, sophomoric in our humor. Uh, so the new series is Space Nuts. The station will be uh, Cajones Station. Uh, and you have Bullocks as the uh, closest settled planet right now. And uh, so, yeah. Yes. You'll need a large supply of Italian suppositories and able to keep up. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder if anybody else gets that joke. <laughs> the innuendo. So anyhow, uh, so the two of us, Arcane, are, are going to take care of that. Um, what's your preference? Uh, you just want, why don't we just work together on yeah. this stuff since there's only two okay. of us. Um, but I think let's get that, let's get that uh, cockpit done first. 
So we're going to need some seats and we're going to need, um, you know, the, the, the driving area here and stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, we are using a specialty texture pack, but uh, I think we could take advantage of that for now. That won't be available in the next stream simply because uh, it, it's created some challenges for us along the way. As cool as it is to have uh, this texture pack, it, yeah. is, it is problematic for us. Um, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to be not using this anymore. So try to avoid the specialty blocks, uh, okay. Robert, if you can, but uh, you know, a couple here and there I can swap out later on. So, got her, Otter? You got it. All right. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to hop outside and show off Nitty's uh, handiwork here. So i got to put on my anti-grab boots so I don't die a horrible death. Ah, ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Come on. Duck on it. Open. There we go. So this is. This is the ship docked next door. If you guys have never used structure blocks in Minecraft, uh, Nidia was kind enough to introduce me to those. And man, I am totally in love with those things. Uh, that allowed us to kind of build this uh, offline and then move it over to here. We can load it up and then put it into a structure block and throw it onto the new server and everything will be intact. So the only stipulation was this had to be less than 32 by 32 by 32 which it is so yeah but there it that's, is that's a spiffy looking ship i know didn't she do a great job on that yeah i love the shape so What's yeah it was a little uh black thing floating down here uh you need to ignore that so oh okay yeah yeah man you managed to find it actually i i can go show you guys this uh this is the this is the structure block i wanted to leave it in place just to make my life a little easier um oh, okay so but um yeah that's the structure block that's representing this. Um, so, yep, yep. Yeah, this is a nice looking little uh, craft here. Yeah, and she's even got like, I, I think this is like a, a, the, the cargo loading area for, you know, like when you're on a planet or something like that. It's it's pretty cool Okay. down below here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Defiant out of uh, Star Trek uh, DS9. It does, it does. Uh, we I, I found a picture, but I don't know where it was from and then uh, Nitty kind of duplicated that that picture, so yeah, good stuff though. Supposedly, uh, with version one sixteen, there is a there is a um, a forty eight block forty eight block limit on structure size. However, there's a bug that doesn't allow you to take something uh, and and save it like that in in a server it's still only 32 in server there it's a, a known bug that they're working out so all right so we need to get some seats we'll have to figure out what those should be uh, we need the consoles I think I'm gonna I'm thinking I'm gonna mimic those consoles up front huh that makes the most sense I mean standard material yeah standard look and feel all right, this guy's require a lot of thought. You're going to come on board, aren't you? Uh, stop it. Stop shaking your head at me. There you go. He's just eager to get started at his new job. There you go. Is that who is that there? Is that Captain Jack? Yeah, that's Captain Jack. So, yeah, he's probably going to come check out the cockpit. <laughs> I said cockpit. <laughs> All right. I don't remember exactly how that cockpit is built here, but. Let's see what's going on out here. Oh, Nitty's getting uh, Nitty's getting compliments on her fine ship here. All right, so we have got. It's like a red brick seat. for the stair for the seat. Yeah, and then signs. Rich Corinthian leather. Ooh. Uh, and these are, let's see here, in the, on the side here, one, that's a, a, what do you call it, a, a thing, a podium, a sign. Uh, yeah, but this, this thing right here, that's called a, oh. a lectern, is that what it's called? Lectern? Yes, lectern. Yeah, yeah. so that's, 
that's a lectern. What is this middle block here? I think that's just like black something. Yeah, it's just black like wool. Black wool with uh, with a pressure plate on top. So okay, I think we got this. I think I, I think I can. I think I can. Might have to come up here again and check this out. But oh, barrier block there. So let's see how good my memory is. <laughs> Dr. Dreadman of Mystery. Lectern? Yes, Lectern. I could not come up with that. All right, so uh, I need a couple black wool, right? Yeah. I got the nether brick stairs. Okay. Or do we want two seats or three? Uh, I'll get three. Well, we've got to be on board too. So, I mean, we'll need a lot of seats, but up front for the cockpit, you know, we'll only need pilot and co-pilot and then a navigator maybe off to the side. So yeah, I'll just grab them all. Yeah, there you go. All right. What else am I here for? I am here. I need some buttons or a lever. Yeah, we're going to grab all of these. <laughs> and some of these and that might look kind of cool uh, I don't know we probably won't use that uh, let's see here what else we got Dump on got some signs to put on the sides oh thank you and I need that pressure plate that's the one we had that was stone See here. You said you got the chairs. You said you got signs. The, I got the chairs. I got the signs. Yep. Okay. I got um, blah, 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 lecterns. They're down here. Uh, nope. Hmm. If you were a lectern, where would you be? If we have them, I might, might have to make some. Hmm. What's the lecterns made out of? Wood? I mean, they might be here, but I thought I knew where they were. Yeah, I think we might need some. Unless I put them maybe over by the books, possible. That would kind of make sense too. Bookcases. Uh, brewing stand. Nope. I think we are screwed. All right, now this one I always have to think about. It's, hmm, 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 hmm. And I think I tried to look it up one other time and couldn't. Nope. Uh, the lectern is one bookshelf and three slabs. Okay. Book, book, bookshelf, in the, bookshelf in the middle. Uh-huh. Three sla wood slabs on top and one wood slab under the bookshelf. So four wood slabs. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, we'll grab these. So you said three across the top, bookshelf in the middle. And I've got a bunch of wood slabs on me already. Hey, that works. So. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I know what else I needed here. I need some of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab barrels as long as we're here. Yep. Just gonna grab all. We got a lot of barrels, so we should have plenty. I think so. We got two stacks and like 43 others in the third stack, so. Yay. Yeah, that might come in handy. I'm trying to think of things that we can utilize here. Make things look a little nicer. You know what I mean? Thanks, Zathras. Uh, Zathras said he likes this storage system. Uh, we do too. Uh, people have struggled to understand how I arrange things though. So maybe I'll have better luck this next time. I can't tell you the number of times these guys have gone, I can't fight. That's what they sound like too. That's exactly, yeah. that's exactly the same. We're, we're a bunch of whiners. Yep. We only have nine item frames, so. Uh, I grabbed, grab. I grabbed uh, 38 of them, so. Oh, okay. Well, yep. I grabbed the nine that were left in there, so. Okay. 
But if we have to, we'll make more. Whoops, wrong button. What was uh, that TV commercial? Don't worry, we'll, we'll make, make more. I know, I just had thought the uh, the same thing. but I, I can't remember what the product was for, but I remember the punchline. So I guess your advertising must not have been very good. Sundrop Junkie is here. Hello, Sundrop Junkie. Mike V Gaming is here as well. Um, let's see here. Nitty said, I am an auto sorter. Yes, I am. All right. Now on this new server, now it lags, not a big issue. I'm, I'm maybe tempted to build a, a good auto sorter. Probably should include some beds in there, huh? For our long journey. Oh, no, maybe not. <laughs> There's no beds in there, so. I love these specialty blocks. I really wish we could make better use of them, but none of those will be useful in the next when we switch over so well we have plenty of wool so yeah we can just come back and make more beds true that true that okay shall we vroom as i go the wrong way zoom I wonder where you're going sorry at huh. least we're pretty close here so if we do need to get stuff it won't yeah by the way folks i will make this uh ship and as well as the hopefully the uh Block Party server available for download. Uh, this one for sure, it'll be a small file that um, the Block Party server may be a pretty honking big file. So I'm not 100% sure on that, but I will do my best. All right, I will build the, uh, the, 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 the flying things here. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't think any of these blocks can come out, but let's find out. Oh yeah, actually I think they can. So we could go right here. Oh, no, couldn't. We're gonna alter this design just a bit here. This, uh, this music is always such a crap shoot. <laughs> now what I'm, now what's playing sounds like a, a theme from like some hacker slasher film. Reed, reed, reed. Yeah, it's kind of what it's like. Well, what? I don't know. I think this design's okay. I mean, what design? Well, I mean, we could just put. Oh yeah, it's like it's piece. it's fine. I just wanted to piece. do three and three here, so that's why I changed that. That's all I needed to do was those two things. Okay. So like that. Um, it's not even, you need to move that wool, both of these go one to the left. I don't. Well, if you've got this. Yeah, I'm not done oh, yet. Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Never mind. I'm not done yet. Yes. Never mind. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Oh, good place for a crafting table. Let's see what happens, though, if I put it on the other one. Just make it look prettier. This, uh, this crafting uh, table is location-based. So it's like, depending on where you put it, dictates what texture pack you get, or what texture you get on it. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna go there because that's a perfect spot for it. All right, I guess we're not getting the cool sci-fi texture pack. Uh, let's see here. I remember these pressure plates were on top of these. I don't think that's the same one, but close enough. Uh, and I need to make another one of those. Um, bookcase, bookcase, there it is. Boink. That's the sound bookcases make when you put them down that way. Boink. What did I have across here, do you remember? I do not. I'll, we have a problem in that. This, these are too close together to put signs on. Yeah, the these go side. in the center here. Boink, boink, boink. With the signs? Yeah, the signs The signs will fit. If you put the chair in the center here, because there's a desk that goes across here. Oops. That's uh, that's upside down. They're going to have trouble sitting in that. I'm just, I'm just saying, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, crap. Goodbye. <laughs> And I think, Oops. I 
think daylight detectors will automatically go on the bottom. Yeah, crappers. Let's see here. What can we do here? I gotta, Crap. I gotta go. I gotta go back to the cockpit. <laughs> I said cockpit. Um, actually, yeah, we can we can give uh, we can give Captain our, our captain seat for Captain Bob like right up here. That would work. So I need some quartz, and I gotta figure out what that is in the middle of that thing. You're not dead, are you, Robert? No, no, I'm coming. I had to, I had to, get, I got all the way down there <laughs> to get the get the block that fell out, but then I didn't have any free inventory, so I had to throw something away. This is great, Lieutenant Otto, the uh, co-pilot. He must have found a workstation somewhere, because he's now in a yellow outfit. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so is uh, so is Captain Jack. They both found evidently found the same workstation. Oh, I wonder if it's the uh, the, 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 the 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 lectern. I wonder if that's a. They've got big glasses on, so I wonder if they're librarians. Could be. <laughs> Don't we have any slabs? No slabs. Oh, there we go. What if we put a few more chairs kind of back here near the uh, the fence? That'd be on great. This little platform. Yep. And then that way that'll give places for the crew to sit. Right. That's what I was thinking. And then um, in the center, right behind the main seats. Oops, wrong place. Uh, in the main seats, I'll put uh, the captain's chair or Captain Bob. Okay. So what are you? Oh, I see. Okay. That's. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Give me enough time. I'll figure out any. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. What do we have there? Okay. That goes there. That goes there. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I get it now. Sathros is leaving us already. No. If you're out there and you haven't chimed in yet, please do let us know you're there. Yes, please. Talk at us. If you look underneath the, uh, the video in the description, you will find lots of interesting things. And I'll talk more about those shortly. In the meantime, I need to eat. So this needs to come out of here. It kind of comes off as a giant red sofa, but I guess it works. Well, could you separate them? Well, the problem is it won't leave us very... If I separate them, it only gives three seats. Okay, well, what if we... And I was thinking, I was thinking like, you know, in that one of the new Star Trek movies, they basically just... They were all sitting on this row of seats, and the little gizmos came down like seat belts. Right, and, right. Oh, but then that's what I was kind of thinking, this design. Okay, I think we can accommodate that. Uh, let's do this. Let's extend sure. the, this out. Mm -hmm. Beep, beep. Um, so, yeah, you could put one set in this row here and then another set right here. Okay. And then separate them out. You should be able to get, let's see, one, two, three. If you put one right against this wall and just skip the arm on it, you could get four. So that'd be a total of eight, which is... Pretty much the whole crew of the Latinarian. Okay. So that'll work. Now, I want to point something out. Uh -oh. Try to put a, a sign on the side of this seat on the right. Well, yeah, because they're here. Too close together. Right. Watch, 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 watch. Trust me on these things. Oh, you're going to move it over. Okay. Yeah, they both... Uh, they both are going to be in the center. I had built the console wrong, so... There, ah. there. Um, that so. makes sense then. Yeah, whoops. And I put it in the wrong spot again. That's what she said. Wrong hole, wrong hole. Um, 
Let's see here. Uh, Dr. Dredd said Eagle could stand. I agree. I'm at a standing desk right now. I, I work almost exclusively at my standing desk. And I'm trying out a new floor pad tonight. So hopefully it works a little better than my ones in the past have. I like to stand, but my bad back, it just I just can't do it very long. The type of, of back weirdness I have, it actually is better for me to stand. So. All right, let's see. Is this the right one? Eh, close enough. There. That looks like a control panel, huh? Yeah. And let's find a spot for Captain Bob here. Oh, I miscounted. Yep. You will only get six. Okay. That's that's fine. I think that's enough for all of us. Yeah. The rest of them will will uh, we'll we'll just put them in the transporter buffer, and they can just stay in there during the. Trip. There you go. Oh my God! With that, I wonder if you would be conscious of the fact that that's kind of where you are, or would you be in stasis until? I think... Well, according to Star Trek: Next Generation, the relics episode where Scotty came back, you know they were they he no clue of the passage of time or anything like that so mm -hmm. you know they were kind of shocked that they'd been in there for like 76 years or whatever it was oh interesting just floating around in the pattern buffer huh yep that would kind of suck i think well one of the one of the scotty made it but the other guy that was in there with him uh his pattern deteriorated too much to be uh uh, reconstituted. <laughs> reconstituted. Sounds like they added water. <laughs> I know. <gasps> Just add water. Yeah. I wonder if crew the... member seeds. Oh, you. <laughs> crew member seeds. <laughs> so you want to put the. Uh, yeah. Like right here uh, for right, the chair? Right there. Didn't mean to put a block there, though. I'm just wondering here. What happens if we bring the seats out? It's going to have the armrests hanging over, but would that be bad? Would we want to move those left just a smidge? You know, move these black back. What do you think? Because then we well, get I don't know. I don't know that it buy. Well, it doesn't really buy us much. I mean, no, but it allows us to put the arm on the other one. That's all. And then it centers uh, it behind the cup. No, it, no, it wouldn't. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, cool. We're good. All right. So it's what? Like a, a, being on an airplane, you're, you, these guys have the window seat. Make it a little more uh, leg and arm room. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Dude, uh, Ensign Row, do you, do, do, do you want to get off of there? <laughs> Apparently not. I guess not. Let's see. What can we put there? Here? <laughs> yeah, I think it needs an ender chest right there. There we go. Just felt like it needed something. Well, it came out pretty good. What we can do with the pictures here. Ho, 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 ho. No, I'm not sure. He should end up in the new one for me at least they will end up being planets it looks like a guy yeah well, that looks pretty good i like that yeah there we go yeah those look like uh those aren't planets they look like uh pistons right but um the texture pack that i've got made up um it has um planets for everything and space scenes and stuff like that and i'll make that available to the people on the server as well all right give me something good here <laughs> like a steering wheel that's great <laughs> well i guess we're gonna go with that 
Did you mean to put a block there? Yeah, because I had to get it to go with the square shape. Ah, uh, okay. There we go. Oh. Yeah, those make sense. Mm-hmm. It's a little warm in here. Turn on the fan. <laughs> oh, open a window. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Speaking of, we need stuff up here. What should we put up here? Hmm. Oops. I don't know. Or do you think I should leave them? Well, I don't know that we, I mean, it's a, it's basically, this is a transport ship. Right, right. It doesn't so have to be purdy. It's going to be kind of bare bones, you know. True, true. It's a giant U-Haul van, for lack of a better way to Right, work. right. You are correct, good sir. Hey, Mike H is here. Hello, Mike. Hey, Thank Mikey. you very much for the, uh, for the uh, donation. Um, now, Mike is in the lead for naming a robot to leave behind. Actually, he'll be coming with us. Uh, we'll put him on this ship. Uh, so that's kind of a, that's kind of a special treat. Uh, if you would like to name the robot instead, just throw a super chat out there and beat Mike for total donations tonight. Uh, whoever has the highest total donations gets to put a, a um, uh, robot in here. So that'd be kind of cool. So you think we should uh, make like a, a little like, I don't know, sleeping area somewhere here? Well, how long is this voyage going to take? Uh, a week. Okay. And then we don't need a lot of beds because in theory, if we're working 24-hour shifts, we only need maybe three beds. Right. You could hot bunk like they do on a submarine. It, exa that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. So... So build a, a little area. I'm trying to think of what would make the most sense. Maybe back here. Could do one, two. Actually, that would work real well. We could do like three beds right here, here, and here. Yeah. And then build a little wall around them and stuff. Yeah, they don't need privacy. No, that's true. All right, you got well, this. Either that or we could build... Um... Oh, yeah, we could build... Alternatively, we could build up, build a little platform. Yeah, yeah. And build a ladder somehow. The only downside is we might kind of mess up these cool-looking little slats, but, you know, well, we could build a ladder up. We could do it, like, here or something. Get the, the ladder up there and then go maybe up at where the shortest slat is up there is where the platform could be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we want to make the platform solid or do we want to make it like grill vents that you see through or Ooh, i like that idea yeah we've got some trap doors that work really well for that can we put the uh, beds on a trap door though yeah yeah this grating like you have right here ah that's crap wrong button oops <laughs> ah, i'm sucking i'm sucking <laughs> there we go uh, i gotta hit the emergency entrance here hold on Oops, closed again. Did it? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Let me go out just a smidge farther. Hit the button. I'm in. All right. Now you want to uh, reset that? There we go. Coolness. Thanks. Okay. So we need three beds and trap doors. So well, I guess I can make, well, 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 I can make the... Uh, beds okay i'll take i'll get the trap doors then where is my frame rate at man it is pretty low trap doors trap doors trap doors i need to clear out a little inventory real quick that would be a dark oak trap door i think is the one we're looking for Yes, that is the one. Come here, trapdoor. What did I say? Dark oak? Is that what the right? Yeah, okay. And those still should look pretty good with the new, with a regular texture pack, so not too hesitant. I think I'm going to need more of these. 
Yep. Dark oak, dark oak, dark oak, dark oak. Are you dark oak? You are dark oak. I don't know why 36 made sense to me, but it did. <laughs> Thirty-four. Let's do a few more here. Bunk. Bunk. <laughs> That's an interesting song. Can you hear it? Or... No. Oh, okay. Very interesting song. Oops. <laughs> Wrong door. <laughs> I went into the uh, into the workroom for the airlock. Like, this doesn't look right. Broadway. Remember Wrong Way Feldman from uh, uh, Gilligan's Island? No, I remember. What was there? It was like a pilot during World War II. Wrong Way Harrigan, I want to say. Oh, I thought it was Wrong Way Feldman, maybe. Well, that one, I, Feldman might have been Gilligan's Island, but there was an actual yeah, Wrong that... Way Harrigan in World War II. Right, right. Do you remember the name of the uh, the band on uh, Gilligan's Island? No. The Mosquitoes. Oh, Poopy! Nope, went before the stream. <laughs> Can't put a ladder there. Let's see, how can I do this? Without making it totally ugly. <laughs> For any farmer. Oh, yes, I love sausage. Very talented builder. All I see is, I look over and all I see is, I like sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. Don't y'all, ladies, don't y'all. I had sausage at lunch. Did ya? Ah, crap, and that's got to be there, doesn't it? Poopy. Well, we've got a. In my little town, we've got a place called Huddle House, which is kind of like a, a Waffle House, very similar. Okay. And how do you get out the airlock? Um, it's a button. You've got to close from that side. A button to the right of to get out of it. You mean? No, well, to get into it. You just. I'm on the. I'm still on the ship. Um, there's an emergency override above it. Oh, I see it. Which is not doing anything. Well, let me, uh, I'm in it right now. There you go. I'm in it. So. Okay. Come on in here. Be nice if we could just keep the airlock open. We could. We could just break that block, those blocks for the time being. That's fine. All right. What was I doing? Oh, that's what I was doing. Oh, I made a bunch too. <laughs> No, no, no. I've, I've got the beds. You've got the trap doors. Oh, I, I thought you said you had the trap doors. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Let me uh, finish this real quick then. Okay. I have ladders. I've got some as well. So. so probably maybe there. What do you think? Yeah, that's high enough. I think so. So I'll need to do that, and that, and then we'll go here, like right there, huh? I guess we do muck these up a little bit. Oh well, poop occurs. Wait, I know what I could do. If I go like a this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, gives us a little bit of that personality at least. 
How did, where did I end up with that? Of course, now you got to fix it on the other side, too, but... Oh, I got ah, crap. Yeah, I do. That's not quite what I had in mind. This design, I think we need one more bed to keep it balanced. Two beds on each side. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that works. All right. Be right back. I'll go make one more bed. All car. Oh, crap. And... <laughs> Just trying to lay these, uh, trying to lay these slabs in place, like, somewhat intelligently, and I'm failing miserably. Now there's a song playing, it sounds like the Harry Potter theme. Matter of fact, I think it might be a total ripoff. I probably could go up there and do this a lot easier from up here. Well, you got your anti-grab boots, so... Yeah, true. Might as well take advantage of them. True, true. Yeah, I think when you place those beds, Arcane, I think you'll have to hold shift to do it. But it should work. There. That's not where I wanted it. Come back here. Run away, bed. Run away, bed. Yeah, this is a good idea, Arcane. I like, I like, I like. Marky, likey. He won't eat it. He hates everything. Hey, Marky. He likes it. Doing callbacks for the uh, the boomers tonight. Oh, am I out of these? Holy crap! Good thing I made. All right. There's one. Ah. <laughs> Suddenly a bed appears in front of me. It's like, ah. We have to pick up our packages. So there's four beds. Uh, you thinking just iron railings on here yep. to match? Yep, I was indeed. Right. What do you think? One more out or probably, huh? Because mm, then you'd have a two wide I path. I don't know. Well, the railing's got to go on something. Can the railing go on the trap door? Yeah, yeah, but it would still, it's yeah. going to be centered, so. Um. Do you have railing with you? I do not. Go All fish. Right. You want to the ship? You want to grab some uh, dark oak while you're there? Enough. Uh, oak. Yeah, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve trap doors. We get two, six, 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 six. At least thirty-six planks. 
We'll do dark oak. Hmm, let's see. And we've got no dark oak plank, so hmm. I shall have to make some. Yeah, either that or just grab the raw wood. I can take care of it if you want. Okay. Oak. Dark. Oh, here's some in the wrong chest. Yeah. That's cool. 64. That should be fine. And iron. Hmm, that looks pretty good. That would be plenty. What we got going on? Dr. Dread, Man of Mystery, and hey, Nicodemus Argent is here. Hello, Nicodemus. Um, talking about um, plots, yes. Uh, plots is fabulous for doing um, spheres and stuff like that. Makes life so much easier. Mark actually has a video in his library on how to yes, use plots. I do. Just go to his YouTube channel and you will find it. Thank you, sir. We're sharing that with the fine folks. Let's see, I think I have some chests. Yes, I do. Give these guys some chests. There's your oak behind you. Uh, oh, thanks. That chest won't be openable. Can this block come out? Nope. Let's see what makes the most sense. Probably getting this over to this side yep. instead. Yeah, I was going to say, put them on this side. That way it'll balance it out. Right. Plus it won't get in the way of that. That thingy. That thing there. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. The vent. All the right. intake vent for the air system. Have you got those trapdoors or the dark oak? One of the two? I just gave you the dark oak. Did you? Did, did, did. Oh, there it is. Okay, thanks. We so we've got a new plug-in on the uh ah crap i oh i did make the right ones okay um that actually creates like exhaustion and hunger and stuff like that um it's been interesting because i have to keep it it the developer, I gotta leave leave a note for the developer that he needs to change it so if you're in creative mode, you can't get exhausted. Because <laughs> you end up having <laughs> to sleep in creative mode. It's like, oh, uh, no. yeah. I gotta check too and make sure that there's not an override somewhere. There we go. This looks pretty good. Yeah. Need a little something. Basic. Well, yeah. I don't know. You don't think so? Okay. What else are you gonna put? I mean. I don't know. I don't know. Again, this is this is a one week voyage. Yeah, I know. You know I know. They yeah. should be able to survive in their spacesuits laying on top of the ship if they need to. Yeah, that's true. Very true. Yeah, we need a zombie apocalypse notice here. Oh, that's kind of yeah. cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, what am I doing here? Dink. I like, uh, I don't know that I would block the window. I'm not going to. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Never mind. Trying to. I keep forgetting. Well. Yeah, let's, let's. Oh, there is a good one. Oh, yeah. Danger. Danger. And then I've got some mo moving ones here. I could put like here. Of course, I don't get it on the first try, you know. There we go. Oh, yeah. Sure, multiple moving ones, but you can't give it to me, huh? 
Or is there only, there it is. We'll go there and we'll move. Um, what do you think? Yeah, this looks nice. It's uh, gives that nice scaffolding look. You got uh -huh. the beds, nice red, uh, kind of like the red plaid. Didn't realize they would be plaid, but you know. Yeah, it works. It, it's nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's see if we can maybe cover these up a little bit. There. Give those a little more spacey feel, like Kevin Spacey feel. I think that works. Yep. All right. Onward. So I'm thinking back here. Mm -hmm. We need some very, very tiny bathroom. And I mean, just to something small. Yep. And we could tuck, you know, we could tuck a toilet like right here. Yeah. Agreed. A wall of some kind. And on the other side, we could put a food dispenser. Ooh, good that idea. Just yeah, because we need something to eat, but you know we don't need a whole galley. Just a right, a right. food dispenser because we can survive off pop tarts for a week. I mean, Indeed. I've done it before in real life, so you know, you know. Yeah, yeah. Join the club. I think back in college I did that. Hey, y'all in the chat room, pipe in. What's your yes. favorite pop tart flavor? <laughs> I would have to say the berry something. I can't. Oops, sorry. Come <laughs> on in. Okay. The berry something, berry blast or very berry or Halle Berry or something like that. I think uh, strawberry. It's hard for me to pick one. Uh, strawberry, cherry, and brown sugar cinnamon. Oh, do you like the brown? Oh, the brown sugar oh, cinnamon. I love oh the my god, sugar. makes me shudder. Well, you know, cook it in a in a toaster. Yeah. Put a scoop of ice cream on it. Mmm. Hmm. Of course, any of them. I mean, that's how I used to do that a lot. Was, you know, warm them up in the toaster, scoop or two of vanilla ice cream. Right. And uh, man, it's like you know, it's almost like having pie a la mode. Hmm. Not quite, but it's pretty close. Right, so. right. Okay, I need powered rails, a button, dispenser. All right. Hmm. Let me go look how we leave a bathroom over here. All right. This works pretty good, just the two of us. Yeah. Actually, We're not going to put a shower in. We can just be smelly. <laughs> yes. Hey, speak for yourself. What did I come in here for? Mm -mm -mm, dispenser. Got a cauldron and an iron trap door. That's all I want. Let me grab one of these just because I can. If you were a dispenser, where would you be? You'd be right there. And I need a button. We're gonna put one of those kind of buttons in there. And then we need two rails. Those are over here. Johan's here. Hello, Johan. Welcome to the stream. Johan Santos and Gerardo Cardenas. Welcome as well. Good to see you guys. Yeah, it's our problem. I have stuff. Yeah. And zoom. All right, stuff, stuff, stuff. There we go. Whoops, that's not an added powered rail. That's uh, yeah, that's what I want though. Activator rail. It wasn't a powered rail after all. So. Chime in, guys. Are you digging this? Anything you'd like to see us do different? Talk to me, people. Talk to me. Okay. 
Did you have a preference on right or left here, um, Robert? Doesn't matter. Okay. Can I put the dispenser in here? Nope. <laughs> That's not going to work. Where'd it go? There it is. All right. Oops. Hmm. Mr. Dispenser, there's Mr. Dispenser. And we put him up here like that. And then we put these here like that. And then we put that like that. And let's see here, where should, where should I put that? Here I come to save the day. My dear mouse. Something, something, yep. something. I don't remember the rest. Here I come to save the day. Mighty mouse is on his way. I don't remember the rest of it either. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about there, people. And then this can go right there. Well, that would be a good thing to put there. Hmm. Yeah, your emergency override button's broken. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Let's see, can I go down? Nope. How about if we uh Well ah! uh Oh, this could be bad. We'll just, we'll just break Oh, <laughs> oh no. What'd you do? Oh, punched a hole right underneath myself and dove to my death. Well that was dumb. Yep, Don't and and lost all my stuff. So Yeah. Well, crap. <laughs> uh, I got a stupid way to die. Stupid way to die. Churro pop tarts. Uh, oh, yeah. about that. People are piping in in chat. Big oops, Mark. Yeah, y you think? You think? Uh, but fortunately, I have because Mark's emergency rekit. I was smart enough when I had extra XP. I built myself an emergency rekit. I don't think you now these. I don't think these tools are quite as powerful, but that's okay. That was brilliant, Mark. That was just freaking brilliant. Genius. Yep. All right. That definitely falls into the duh category. Water bottle? Don't need no stinking water bottles. All right, what was I working on over there? My pop tart thing. Uh, let's see, what else did I lose here? Need some of those. All right. Man, I lost a lot there. That was bad. 
definitely bad. Yeah, I, I managed to hit fly uh, fast enough, and then I missed the enter key. Uh, it's too late. Oh. Yeah. I was muy disappointed. Mark? Right. Yeah. That was dumb. Don't do it again. I'm going to try not to. I really am going to try not to. Yeah, that was, that was, that was, yeah, that was definitely bad. Alright, so we got that, got that. Yeah. White, 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 smooth, white. Lock of chords, smooth chords, that's what I wanted. Alright, let's get back to where we were. Red Rider is is in and looking at uh, who's challenging tonight for the for the right to name the robot on board the um, uh, the perineum here. So, oh, that's not right. I know, right? That's just wrong. Oh come on! Oh man, where am I gonna put this? Poopy, 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 poopy. I'm gonna go, oh, what could I do? Oh, I know what I could do. I'm thinking now, it's a scary thing, people pay attention, doesn't happen often. Oops, <laughs> see, told you, doesn't happen often. There we go. Little handy dandy table, put some carpet in front of it, life will be good. <laughs> Do items dispense through an item frame? Do you know? Oh, I can't, I don't think I, I can put don't know. Uh, I don't have any item frames. Because <laughs> I totally dumped them all. Oh, well, let's see, I need carpet and item frames. And glowstone. <laughs> Nicodemus. <laughs> and in our new block party home, this man will be our only hope of reaching outer worlds. <laughs> yes, it's kind of scary. Porsche Tire Biters here. Hello, Porsche. Brian Schultz, hello, good sir. Uh, I'll share uh, armor, not that it really matters, but. But um, I'm liking it. At least you're not naked. I'm not, I'm not naked yet. All right, let's Small see what I get. I think I should go. I should at least be in uniform here. So let's see if I can get what I need to get in uniform. Oh, it's looking promising. There, I'm in uniform. All right. What was I here for? And item frames. Oh, no more item frames. Got to make some item frames. Since I lost them all. And sticks. Xanthrus or Zathras became a member. Thank you very much, Zathras. Make sure you take a, a look at your benefits there and what you got coming. Some of them require that you send me a message uh, so that I know what, what you're looking for. Um, definitely check that out. Hmm, what was I doing? 
yes, item frames. That's what I was going to need. Sticks, no sticks. Let's make sticks. And I am going to need two stacks of sticks if I'm doing my math right. Yes, I am. Math on the fly, people. I may not be so smart sometimes, but then occasionally I'm smart again. It's scary. And then what should we put in those item frames? That's the question. What would be cool? Hmm. Hmm. I'm just thinking, you know, you can hear me, right? You can hear my thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of disturbing, actually. <laughs> Come on. All right. So let's throw another one of these up there. And we'll throw an item frame there. And wow. All of a sudden, I'm getting real, like, lag or jump or something. Oh, I've got to actually. It keeps, it's like it's rubber banding me. Hey, there we go. I'm stuck in the freaking bathroom. Oh, no. Is it smelly? Oh, carpet. That's what I was going to grab. Crap already. Mark needs to do a tutorial on how to turn off spell check. Uh, that's a little out of my wheelhouse. Right, I'm going to exit the game for just a second. Okay. If I'm not up here when you get back. So. Jumping back to the same spot. Right. Nicodemus says it's Pop-Tart time. Thank you for the generous donation, good sir. Nicodemus is working on our economy with me. I've got to get in and do some uh, research with the stuff he provided me, but I appreciate that, Nicodemus. You're still in uh, chat, right, uh, Robert? Uh, I'm in the uh, in the, in Discord, Discord channel. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. I are here. Loading back in now. Monster is loading. Because a pop tart time has come on, baby. Has been requested. Oh, we can do that. I thought so too. Hey, I escaped. Yay. And it threw me back in. There you go. Finally. All right, we have a bathroom now. That we do. I don't think this block can be removed, otherwise I'd put wool in here, but I don't believe so. Well, yeah. No, it looks okay like that. Kind of makes it quite oh. clear there's a separation of space. Actually, I can, though. Well, you could put it down, but it's, isn't it going to be down one? Yeah, it'll be down one. Just you want to leave it? I thought it was okay with the white block. Okay. Because it, it makes for a clear separation of space. That's true. You know? This stuff over here is the galley. This stuff over here is the head. You know. Right, right. Hmm, maybe. Maybe I'll just do. So we still have light here. Let's do this. Boink. And then we'll do another one right here. So we haven't lost that light. There we go. That works. What would be a good thing to put up here? Monk. Uh, I don't know. We might want to stick some barrels in there for storage. I mean, because I'm thinking, you know, if we're putting storage in here. We need every little bit we can get. Mm -hmm. And ships tend to work that way. You, you stick weird stuff in places you <laughs> normally <laughs> wouldn't <laughs> put, you know. <laughs> you mean like in those ports in like Shanghai and stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the ticket. Uh, okay, I have an idea for that. And grab some like red shulker boxes maybe and put those in there. 
kind of like emergency supplies type of thing. Oh, yeah. Um, shulker, shulker, shulker. If you were a shulker box, where would you be? You'd be right there. Uh, they're in with the shulker boxes. I found them. Actually, they're in the shulker boxes. So. They told you. Yep. I need four, right? Uh, yes. Um, see chest. These are not going to show as very much red right now, but they will on the new ship. Or not the new ship, but with the normal texture pack. Right. Bum, bum. What am I looking with for? With the new space station. Yep, yep. Oops, I needed two more of those, didn't I? Oh, we gotta do pop tower time. Oh yeah. You ready? A duet. I I am ready. <laughs> okay. It's pop tower time. Pop tower time. Holy crap! It's pop tower time. Beat him up, yo. Nom 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 nom. Mm. Nom 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 nom. Let me see here. Sorry for the delay, guys. I can't think about more than one thing at once. Ships put stuff in strange places. I was a crew member on the U.S. Army Abrams tank. The device to cook our rations for us was under the breach of the cannon where we were never supposed to put our hands. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I've seen um, um, a tour at a couple of submarines, actually, and they... A frequent place to put bunks is on top of over torpedoes. Yeah, I've seen that. Just what I want, a high explosive underneath my bed. Down in Mobile, I think they've got, I don't know if it's the actual Hunley or replica, but it is a tiny little sub. Oh, yeah, isn't it? The tour guide said, yeah, you might not, you know, I'm like 6'4". So the guy says, yeah, you might not want to try to squeeze in there. You might get stuck. I'm like, okay, I'll skip it. <laughs> I don't think you can go inside the original. So maybe a replica then. It, it probably is. Yeah. that That's a fascinating story behind the, the Hunley and just how many yeah. people died in that stupid thing. And yet they kept going back and doing it again. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I think after the first so two... We, after the first two crews died, I think I probably would have gone, mm, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going in there. Mm -mm, mm -mm, that's a bad idea. Three crews they died in the that USS, thing. Uh, they also have the USS Alabama, the battleship. Oh, cool. That thing, and, and you just don't, you can't comprehend how huge this thing is until you actually stand on the deck and see it. I mean, it is a monster. Especially the guns. Because that the Alabama's yes. got 14-inch guns on it too, doesn't it? Yeah, I believe so. It's yeah. been a while since I've been there. But, you know, the, it was just, I mean, I was there for half a day, something like that, and I still only saw, like, one-third of the tour. Yeah, I you believe know, that. They had a little self-directed tour. I mean, it was like. Hmm. I think it's slabs, maybe? I was going to do, um, I was going to try it, whatchamacallit, uh, staircases. Do you have uh, uh, do you have a crafting bench? Oh, I can just make one quick. I have staircases. Oh, do you? Oops. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah. I 
wondering if... That's what I did in the bathroom. I wonder if this would look better above. Something like that. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, cool. Let's go with it. All right, so stuff. What else? Again, check out your bathroom. We didn't show that to everybody. Oh, nice, nice. Pretty simple. Yeah, Pretty simple. yeah. It's the staircases give you a little elbow room, a little shelf to put magazines on. There you go. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Put a hog in the bathroom. Sorry. Other people gotta go. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. All right. So. So how do we want to design storage now? Yeah, that's the thing I'm questioning too. Oh man, I mean, I'd lost. We could stack it here. I got barrels. Yeah, I lost the. I was gonna try the bamboo shelves. Um, oh. And no, then. I think the barrels. Well, instead of going down to the floor, though, because do we go do we go down to the floor in here? Mm -hmm. Do we? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're just what three high, I think. Coming. Yeah. How do you make? Uh, how do you make the the the, the things? Um, Barrels. Uh, no, the bamboo scaffolding. Do you remember? Uh, no idea. Let's see if it'll come up for me. Although, really, if we're looking to maximize storage. I know. This is an idea. But, all right. Then let's just do them on the floor like we did in here, back to back, huh? We could do it just... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right. Um... Are you in here? I'm a coming. Pardon me. So, yeah, I mean, if we put them like. What do we want to put them? Like here. Um, like this way? Let's see if we do them. Or do we want to put them? Oh, uh, good idea. Or separate them one more, like that. And then basically, blink, 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 blink. And then over here, two more. So that would give us quite a few, actually, without making things too tight. Let's see. So it'd be it just 20. Makes them, well, makes them off center a little bit for the ladder, but you know, oh. I don't think that's that big a deal. Yeah, we could change that. I mean, we could come out. Well, if we did them, if we did the middle row one wide. Uh huh. Would that give us space over here to put a few more barrels if we need them? Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to smack you there. I was just picking these up. I thought uh, you were my wife for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. So you're thinking if we put them here? Well, no, no right, right where your foot is. Yeah. And then that would give us space we could put just some right here against the steps and then we could put another row on one step up mm -hmm. okay you know if we needed them all right yeah you, you got some there how many do you have uh i have two stacks so i'm gonna give okay. you one stack sounds good uh there we go stack me buddy there you go i'll do these over here then Oops. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Get in there. Oh, come on. Oops, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, because then we could put like we could put some chests over here, you know, on the sides instead of the barrels. Just put the barrels down the center. Whoops. Sal is here. Hello, Sal Onaya. Welcome to the stream. Do you recognize that name at all? I don't know. I do not either. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Give you a little bit of a hiding spot there. That works. Let's see what I got for chests here. Okay, that's annoying. What? Well. If I hit shift to squat while I'm floating, mm -hmm. I, I I drop to the ground. Oh, so hit hold like... your hold your uh, space bar down at the same time. Space bar shift. Okay. And of course, it goes the wrong way. So I'm too high up. Yeah, that's a good place for that. Of course, I don't get the nice, pretty, futuristic design. Murphy's Law. Yeah, let's get the uh, let's get the competition going, guys. For the uh, for the robot, this robot's going to be around for a long freaking time because he'll be going to the new stream, and this ship will be part of the space station. So. Throw in a super chat and uh, get the party started. Uh, let's do this. Oh, fudge nuts. Did not mean to do that. Holy crap. I took a major chunk out here. Wow. Good job, Mark. You are one skilled individual. And let's see what's over here. One, two, one, two, and then two more there. And of course I'm out of them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so it's three. Bing, come on. Um, button, hello, button. Boom, boom, boom. I think it's worth going and putting a fourth row up there. I guess if you want. We got space. I mean, that's fine. Oh, that's supposed to be a staircase, isn't it? There we go. Yeah, that looks dumb. There, close enough. All right. Oh, fourth row up. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. What else could we put here? We load some stuff on these, on these uh, like shelf areas here. Let's see what we got. Stuff that would kind of look cool sitting there, like furniture. Oh yeah, furniture. Oh, I lost all my bookcases, but I think there's books here. Oh, crap ton of books. Yeah. Standard unit of measurement for books. 
the crap ton. Hey, Franny Farmer, thank you very much. You are now in the lead for naming that robot. Let's see what other furniture we got. Oh, I know. Oh, you're going to be digging this arcane. This is going to be cool. Yeah, make sure you chime in with the name of your... Uh, with the uh, name of your uh, robot, Franny, so that just in case you don't get beat, we'll know what to name it if you're not around. Oh, really? Couldn't turn the other way, huh? There we go. There we go. I like how the stone cutter, the blade's always spinning. Yeah, no danger there, kids. <gasps> You've seen the ones they have, uh, like the... The saws that if they detect, the blade somehow detects human flesh, it just locks. How does it do that? I, I, I don't know. The, uh, really? It's some kind of resistance, you know, when... Wild. I mean, uh, electrical resistance, you know. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I can think of. That's wild. But, I mean, it, it basically, from what I understand, kind of borks the whole thing, so it's like... Yeah, it saves you, but you've lost your saw. <laughs> oh, really? It basically well, you locks it. Wow. Two, three, four, five. Maybe they've got it now to where they'll restart. I don't know. I'm trying to remember what some of the other workstations are. Do you remember off the top of your head? I don't know. We can go look, I guess. Maybe somebody will chime in with it. If you could help a brother out. It's a, hey, a Jose man. Cubed, welcome to uh, welcome to the channel. Jose Cubed just became a wood member. Uh, Jose, as well as uh, our earlier member, um, I don't recall. Let me look quick. That was that was Zathras. Sorry about that, Zathras. Um, make sure as well that if you'd like to become a, a member of the server, read underneath uh, what you need to do to apply for. Um, the Black Party server. Would love to have you. All right. Poopies. My favorite laxative. <laughs> Get it? Poopies. <laughs> uh... Or we could do something. I don't know what else we might need, but something right here in this corner. Um, I actually got an idea for that. Uh, I need oh. to build some bookcases quick. One step ahead of you. Oh, we need to put a ender chest somewhere. Okay. So we could just put it right here above the crafting table. It seems like a logical place for it. Mm-hmm. Works for me. I'll put mine down and then grab me another one when we go back to the ship. There we go. Entertainment center, like at the Obsidian Cathedral. Yeah. And a treadmill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's not the love boat, so, you know. Not the love boat. Soon we'll be making another round. All right. Um, what other workstations are there, people? Um, blast furnace. Furnaces. Ah, furnaces. 
I'm on my way back. I'll grab some furnaces. Workstations, help me, help me. Yankee Berry in honor of red. Yankee Berry. All right, if you um, were a you got an anvil up there, right? Uh, I, I I will grab one, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I'm not seeing any furnaces. All right, we'll uh, make one. Usually you got stacks of furnaces. Yeah. All right. Somehow lost the sign on that one. Wink. There we go. Anvil, anvil, anvil. Where would you be, anvil? Oh, and a cauldron? Is there a cauldron up there? Yeah. There's one in the bathroom. I've got one here, so we're good. I got a hopper that we could, like, put in there just to look nice. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking the workstations, actually. Uh, stone cutter, cutting, and grinding wheel. Uh, and cartography. I gotta find out how to make those. <laughs> Oops, that's not what I wanted. Stone. Grindstone. Cartography station. Okay. Two papers and like four wood. So. You wanna make that one? I'll make the yeah. uh, grindstone. Uh, on my way. I need a stone slab, two sticks, and some wood. And one cartographer station. Yay. See. <laughs> Does the fletching table do anything yet? It makes fletchers. <laughs> um, I've already got a loom in there, Mike, but thank you. Uh, fletching station. Sounds just fletching. <laughs> a fletching table, found it. Two flint and wood, all right. Time we had a use for flint for crying out loud. All right, we'll throw these in there. Okay. We're going to wrap this up almost dead on time here, Robert. Yeah, I think so. We can always transport stuff over off stream if need be. Well, I was going to say, yeah, that that would be pretty boring for everybody. Yeah. So Where do you want to put the cartographer station? Um, over here. And then I've got a fletching table. Something else I had here. What was it? Got the cauldron and the furnace. I know what we could do with the furnace here. How's that look? Any, does that look any good? Yeah, that looks fine. Looks like it kind of goes with the station. All right. This cartographer station looks pretty lame. It's not a very exciting <laughs> texture. It's, I might put the cauldron there so, instead. Hmm, 
What do you think? I don't know. I don't think it really matters. I mean, no. The, the cauldron doesn't look any worse better, or better. It. Yeah, it, it, does, it doesn't look worse either. You know? Right, right. I guess the only difference is if you really want it to be workstations, cauldrons aren't exactly workstation. Or you do have two of the. Uh, oh, that's uh, right. I did put two. Craft these things. Uh, the, spell enchantment tables yeah 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 well actually all three of these down here on the left you've got two of you got two of the cutters and you got two of the uh toil toil bubble and foil <laughs> easy for you to say Cauldr yeah okay i'll throw a cauldron on this side get rid of that all right i think that works what do you do yeah. Yeah, this came out pretty good. Yeah. Not so, shabby at all. I got one yeah. one thought here. Oh, that's that can be dangerous because one thought gets us into trouble. I know, right? Do you like the black carpet or we could do a gray carpet? Like in the Well, we've already got black out here in the rear. Yeah. But I, I like just one side of black carpet. Just one row here along the chest. Like this? Yeah. And then we'll do one here. Well, I don't have any more, but you do one over here on this side. Whoop. And I think that kind of frames it nicely. Yeah, that looks good. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ender Chest. Did you? I did. It's over here. Oh, okay. Right here. Okay. So I was thinking we got a spot here we could put like two Ender Chests. Well, I mean, you can move it if you want, but I think it's okay where it's at. Yeah. The thing is, we could put multiple here. I think I'm going to go grab two. See if we can figure out one more thing. Got a brewing stand, Mike. Thank you, though. Smithing table. How do you make a smithing table? Hey, did you know? Or a composter. Composters are pretty un unexciting, but let's see. What does a smithing look like? Okay, and that takes iron and wood. So let's mm -hmm. try that. Looks a little boring, but you know. Let's see what it looks like in the real world here. Doom. Doom. Yeah, composters Ooh, just, just kind of smoker doesn't wood look, box. Smoker doesn't look bad either. Yeah. Let's see, what does it take to make a... Uh, so... Smokers, smokers are furnace and four logs. All right, let's see what that looks like. Do, do, do four logs? Logs. Oh, okay. And a furnace, huh? Okay. We can do that. And what was I looking for again, Robert? <laughs> uh, Smithing? Four no. logs and uh, four lo well, the the four logs and a uh yeah i can't uh, what's it called yeah. smoker that's it smoker four log it's a furnace in the middle and four logs above and below and to the left and i'm right. actually using the the recipe book here which is uh, hugely unusual for me but yeah that's what i used to figure out what it was <laughs> i can't think of anything else here Mm 
Zoom. Yeah, that looks good, that looks good. I think we'll move this. Because I think I have the perfect spot for that. Oh, the smithing table doesn't cut it at all. This looks almost identical. Yeah. So, hopefully the smoker looks pretty good. That's not too shabby. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Do you have a spare ender chest on you? Uh, I do not. That was my one ender chest, but I can go get more uh, if we have some. Let me see if there's... There should be some there, yeah. Just uh, just one arcane for this other end next to these chests down here. Just to okay. balance that out. I just remember where they're at. I just had a great idea. I'm not even gonna well, that's changed. I know it's scary, isn't it? No, I'm not even going to tell you what it is, because I think it'll be cool. Yeah, we got a grinding wheel already there, Porsche. Thank you. It looks like a roll of toilet paper. Love it. <laughs> oh, we got the lines good. I could just see if we had yellow wool for... You need yellow wool while I'm over here? Uh, I'm looking, oh, here, here. yeah, I'm looking right now. There we go. Yeah, that might not be enough, though. Let's just grab some extra here. All right. Hopefully this works, because I think it'll be very cool if it does. Yeah, I like it. So like, yeah, like a, uh, you know, safety floor. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we only need it one wide because that's all that is around here. Well, I'm curious what, I, we can always pull it up. I'm curious though what it's going to look like, you know, completely in here. I'm gonna run out. Yep, I can do it. Well, at least we'll get a good idea here if it's gonna work or not. Might be right, just like around the edges, huh? Yeah, it's a little too busy for this small space. Yeah, I agree. But you kind of get that idea of the, the safety aspect here if you just go right. around the outside like this. Have you got that that ender chest? Did you get one? I do. Let's throw it in that corner by the bathroom. That's a good, that is a good spot for it. I don't know that we need one down the middle row because then it kind of breaks the pattern here. Okay. But I do think we need some kind of lighting over this middle area. Sure. It looks just a little dark. I can do that. I got the perfect thing for it. Oh, do you? Yeah. Um, I don't have it on me. Got any end rods? No. Back I go. Okay. Because at least for now, it'll look, it'll look good. I was thinking like, I don't have any on me, but metal fence with a, uh, on either side with a, uh, uh, 
glowstone in the middle, but... Um, I have a thought. Scary as that may be. Oh, cool. What? No, you can just jump from the top of the, uh, the barrels. You can jump right up on top of the platform where the beds are. Really? I need to do that. We. All right. So I was thinking here is if I go like a this. Oops. Oops. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted either. Come on, there we go. How's that? I don't know, I ran back to the storage for a second. I'm coming. I don't like the way these are turned. Turn the other way here. Are you not going to turn this way, are you? You dog faced boy. How could we do that? Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. No, that's not going to work either. It looks, looks nice. Oh, you put ladders on the side. That's kind of cool. I don't know if we need. Yeah, that actually looks good. It looks like tie downs or something. Yeah. I don't know. Don't think we need them on both ends, but I guess we could. I'm trying to figure out something for this lighting that's not too obtrusive. Hmm. If I was an intelligent person, how would I handle this? So I want something here that'll look good once we're there, too. Oops. That doesn't work. Not sure, but I think I just gave you an end run. Yeah. Oh, I know. What if we did? I can't go there because of the ladder. I'm assuming this is the bottom of the ship here. Yep. Yeah, our other problem is because of the trap doors. We can only put lighting right. over these two barrels. Yep. Well, I don't know that we have to have anything. I mean, I think it's lit enough. Yeah. I mean, well, these turn into, like, fluorescent fixtures when they're... You know what I could do? I wonder if I put just something back here, if that would help. I can't put anything there. Crap! How can I do this? Yeah, see, there's not enough space on top to put anything. Right. Oh, wait. I do have Unless a... we just took out the middle barrel and just put a glowstone in it. <coughs> Which would be kind of lame, but, you know. Yeah. <coughs> Agreed. Um, I don't know. We could just leave it as is. I mean. Yeah. It's not that bad. Well, then you're going to have somebody going... Who left that stupid post? I know, right? Yeah, I don't see any easy solution for that. Hmm. Well, I think we're okay. I think we are too. I 
That helped a little. Got a little light. A couple blocks into there, at least. <clears throat> So, are we officially uh, done here? I think so. I think so. This looks good. We've I, got I agree. Plenty of storage space. We've got a place for the crew to hang out, you know, and sleep. Right. We've got seats up here for the crew, you know, to, to sit during the voyage and for, you know, piloting the ship. Ninja Boy's here. Hey, Ninja Boy. Welcome. Yeah, I don't think we need anything else in the pilot's area either, do we? Nope. We just have to get in some row down. There we go. And I yeah, got it. you lady. And then I'll bring Captain Bob in here next during the during the next week. Mm -hmm. Well Yeah. Ensign Row does not want to leave the ship. <laughs> <laughs> out, lady, out, out, out. Sense and Roa, maybe? Well, she was in Star Trek. That's true. That's true. Hard to tell in that uh, in that helmet. So. Yeah, which one was she in? She was in DS9, right? No, she was Ensign in Roa. both Voyager. And, well, she was initially on Next Generation. They introduced her in the last few episodes. And like in the next to the last episode of Next Generation, she defected to join the, the Maquis or whatever they were. Oh, was uh, she the half, was, was she the half um, Klingon? Bajoran or whatever. Yeah, no, she was Bajoran. You're thinking, the, the one you're thinking of was on Voyager. Yeah. I can't remember her name. With Chakotay and all she those. She wound up marrying, uh, yeah, she wound up marrying Tom Paris and That's having right. this weird little kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ensign Row, Ensign Row. Now, she wasn't the Bajoran on DS9, though. That was... No, that was... Uh, Kira something. Yeah. But no, Ensign Row Ensign Row was like half a Joran. Was she Cardassian? And... No, no, no. She was half a Joran, half human. Okay. And she had black hair. Uh she came in like like I said, the last season of Next Generation. She came in part way through and was the navigator sitting opposite data for quite a few episodes. I'll have to look. And then and then she wound up uh, being in the first episode or two of DS9. Not DS9, but uh, Voyager, as I recall. Okay. I'll have to look she her up. Because her face just isn't coming to me. Yeah, I don't see anything that needs changing here. So, Awesome. Awesome nope. sauce. I think we're good. All right. And like you said, right on time. Yep. So let's uh, let's get a robot in here. We don't have to worry about him running away. He won't be able to. Nope. All right. Let's see. Where can we put him? Probably right there will work. Now we just got to remember to get in here and uh, load stuff up. Yep. Well, hmm. I'm out of stuff for making robots. So... Guess we're road tripping one more time here. What, what do you need? Uh, I need four blocks of iron. Uh, yeah. I need, let's see, let me see what I got here. Burr, burr, burr. A pumpkin head in it? Yeah, a uh, carved pumpkin, four blocks of iron, a name, a name and a name tag, because we have an anvil here. Nicodemus Argent uh, told me to shut up. Oh, oh, oh okay, sorry. Zathras, $12, he's in. Welcome, or thank you, uh, Zathras. Appreciate that. Um, where are we at here? <laughs> Why did Nicodemus make me shut up? That wasn't very nice. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Bum, bum, bum. Got your iron. Yep. I got, how do you make a car or something? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nicodemus. Two bucks isn't enough to make me shut up. I mean, even a you know a wife wasn't able to do that. So, what are what are you looking for? How do you make a carved pumpkin head? 
Um, put it on the ground and hit it with a, a shears. Okay. I need shear. You got shears? Surely you can't be serious. Oh! Uh! I didn't say a Kardashian. I said a Kardashian. They're two different things. I have shears now. All right. Oh, so Zathros is our leader now, huh? All right. All right, got your pumpkin. Thank you hand. for uh, keeping track of that, uh, Nitty. I appreciate that. Just need the name Ooh, I want to hop on this blade. Ah! Ah! I wonder what that looks like. Oh, that's not nearly as fun looking as I hoped it would be. Backwards here. <laughs> uh, he's cutting me in half. Yeah, that's not nearly as much fun. Who's in now? Freddy Farmer! Woo! Randy, you guys are you guys are on like the the you know down to the wire here. I think Franny, that would put you in the lead now, right, Franny? I do believe. Uh, anybody ever recall where the name tags are? Uh, yeah, they would be in tools. Tools, okay, I'm looking on the wrong side. Zoom. Shears back on here. Zoom. Figure it out. Now I'm looking through the tools. I may end up with a protein ration and pop tarts. I'll throw that in there. Well, this was uh, this was the appropriate stream to utilize my emergency rekit. You really. All right, I'm not finding name tags in the tools area. All right, I'll just pull one up in creative so that we can do this. You got everything else? I got everything else. All right. I'm not even sure how to make a name tag, so. You can't. It can't be crafted. Oh. Well, that explains a lot. Okay, here I come with the other stuff. I said, give me 64. <laughs> Zathras is back in the fray. <laughs> what? All right, so we are now. Zathras is in the lead. All right, you guys, better get this wound up. I'm gonna be naming this guy any second. All right. There you go. My call. Gonna put him down here, up on the bridge. I'll put him down here. Yeah, that makes sense. A little more room for him to move around here, too. And he won't be able to go. He won't fit through that that uh, transfer tunnel there, so. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, what are we naming him? Momo Taros. All right. Thank Momo. you for the competition on the name, guys. It's very much appreciated. Momo Taro. Whoops, helps if I'm in the right device here. Thingy. Ba, ba, ba. Momo Taros, right? Okay. There we go. Momo Taros. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come here, Momo Taros. Boink, boink. There you are. Nice. Nice. That's a, that's a cool. Yeah, and that's a cool name. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could always, I could always block him in there, but we'll let him walk around unless he becomes a pain, yeah. pain in the tush, and we'll, and we'll rethink that. I see one thing I want to change quite here. Uh oh. What? That always gets us into trouble. I know, we're right? Always... We're, we're now right at the end of the stream. I see one thing I just yeah. want to change real quick. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Hmm. 
You're right, it does get us in trouble when I do this. Meh. Yeah, that's fine. That works. Okay. I think we are done. So... Yay! That went really well tonight. It did. I'm glad you could join me, so I didn't have to do it all by myself. Yeah. Well, I had to bail last week, so here I am this week. Here you are to save the day. Well, somebody had to do it. <laughs> Captain Bob, you're getting a new ship. Lucky you, huh? Bloosh. I'm going to miss this texture pack, though, i got to tell you. Yeah, it is nice. I really do like it. But I just can't be crashing all the time, and that's the cause, is when we're switching texture packs. Yeah. So. Well, it does get a little confusing for 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 building and stuff. Go, yeah. 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 It's Agreed. Like, well, it looks really good here, but then we go to the other one, it's like... Oh, right, like right. Yeah, well, Nitty ran into that when she built that, uh, uh, built the perineum for me, is mm -hmm. she built... Um, kind of trying to anticipate how things would look here. And then I pulled it in here and it just, it needed a lot of swapping around just to kind of get it to, to jive with this ship. And then hopefully, I haven't tested it yet, but hopefully look good on the new stream as well. So, yep, yep, yep. So, Fanny Farmer says, nice work, guys. It looks great. Thank you very much, Thank Franny. You, um, yeah, I was pretty happy about that. Nitty says the same thing. She says we did a good job. So, thank you. Yeah. But uh, thank you again for joining me. And, you know, I just, sure. I, I, I was very, very remiss tonight in, in doing a, a few necessary things. One of the most important ones is um, to say thank you to our sponsor, Nodecraft. Uh, if you are looking to have a gaming server, these are definitely the guys to go to. And it's not just Minecraft. They, they host like a crap ton of different games. Um, and they do a phenomenal job. They are by far the best hosting company I've ever dealt with. Uh, in addition mm -hmm. to that, we're doing a switch over to the new server, and they are kind enough to let me have uh, two server instances running at the same time so that I can get the one built without having to shut down the other one, which is really, really nice. We can get that going and just flip the switch and go to the other one. Um, Sounds like great guys to be working with. Yeah, they really are. Um, and if you do want to get on board with them, uh, use the uh, code uh, Pop Tart Time to get 30% off. They do have, last I looked, they do have a 50% off sale going on right now. I got a feeling you're not going to be able to attack the 30% off on that. Um, but, you know, I'd appreciate it if you do the 30%, but definitely I understand if you're going to do the 50% instead. Uh, so, yeah. Um, speaking of servers, uh, if you'd like to become a member of the Block Party server, now is definitely the time to do it. Uh, what you'll want to do is first become a member or a patron. We do that to help keep uh, the, the, the um, uh, kids at bay as well as getting a, a little bit of buy-in from people when uh, they're coming on the server. Make sure they're going to be active. Make sure they're going to be well-behaved. All of those type of things. All that information is down underneath the video, uh, and all you need to do is send me a message after you become a member or patron, and we can get things started. Uh, also, uh, other ways you can support us, of course, you saw tonight people doing the super chats all over the place. That was fabulous, and I thank you all for your generosity. Um, you can also buy a cool AOMC stuff, and I'll show you that as soon as I come back. Uh, and uh, becoming a channel member helps us out. Becoming a patron helps us out. Uh, and don't forget also that our charity of choice is suicide prevention. So uh, yeah, I imagine with the, with the current health crisis going on, a lot of people out of work, yep. depression. So they're, I think they're more important than ever uh, right now with the situation. Yeah. Going on. Yep, I agree too. Uh, I agree, um, and I think you know my uh, my daughter and I were talking about this just recently. The fact that you know folks like me, I I I've suffered from depression for twenty plus years, um, 
you kind of learn the tools for managing it and dealing with it and how to ride out the bad days and stuff like that. There's a lot of people that are new to this, to this uh, illness and, you know, they've maybe had it, but never realized it. And then, and then life uh, uh, gives them a, a situation like this. And suddenly they, you know, not only are they dealing with the realities of being without a job and, and uh, all the things that go along with that, but then having to deal with a, a new, you know, a new disorder as well. So that sucks. Mm -hmm. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Um, speaking of cool AOMC stuff, we do have the mug and it uh, says where it's always Pop-Tart time with our logo on it, as well as the iPhone uh, case and t-shirts and stickers and all sorts of, sorts of crap. The mugs are fabulous, by the way. They're really, really good mugs. Uh, so yeah, and I think I think that's all, uh, but definitely look underneath uh, the, the video for all sorts of information uh, about what I just talked about, as well as some credits for the people who've helped us out and, and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. Thank Thanks you everybody uh, for joining us. Yeah, thank you all for joining us, uh, especially Eternity Mind Nitty uh, for um, uh, working on the new server as well as modding for us tonight. Uh, Mike Johnston for modding for us tonight. And I think that was it for mods that I saw tonight. But yeah, so I think that's all I got. Uh, tune in next week. Uh, keep your fingers crossed for a brand new stream if I can get my craft together fast enough. I was supposed to go out of town this weekend, that fell through, so hopefully I'll be able to dedicate that time to getting everything done that needs to get done. Um, and we'll, we'll, we'll be doing something new and fresh next week uh, called Space Nuts. So tune in then. I think that's it. Yeah, that's awesome. all I got. So, all right, folks. Remember, if you like the stream tonight, please leave a comment, leave, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, or best of all, share. And if you didn't like the stream tonight, please keep it to yourself. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.